Yes, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Don't Back even do the intro. Week. Don't even do the intro because <laughs> you want to get into it, and it's your favorite thing to talk about, and Yo. it's a friend of ours. Salute so to I know the that goat. you're going to be kind. Salute to the I know that you're going to be kind and empathetic. <laughs> Salute to, a friend. to the GOAT, <sighs> Joe Charlemagne Coy. The- Okay, Joe Coy hosted the Golden Globes. Okay, everybody's talking about it as they should. All right, he was a number one trending topic. All right, ratings are through the roof. Did you know that? <laughs> ratings are up 50% <laughs> from last year. Did you know that? <laughs> ratings are up 50% from last year. And I don't know what y'all are tripping about, man, because I watched it and I laughed. A lot. (laughs) I thought it was hysterical. Why? Because it was funny. (laughs) (laughs) It was fun. Charlamagne, don't do this. Don't do this. Listen. Charlamagne walked into the office today like a kid on Christmas. (laughs) He was bouncing and jumping. Couldn't wait to send me the message he sent Joe. Listen. (laughs) He was sending Joe... Can I tell him? Yes, go ahead. He was sending Joe Taylor Swift memes. I did. He goes, he sent Taylor Swift memes and said, hey, Joe, don't worry about it. Shake it off. (laughs) I did. I sent him two. I sent him the shake it off one, and I sent him the haters going hate, hate, hate. hate." (laughs) You know what I'm saying? You wanted him. (laughs) You wanted him. There's nothing Charlamagne loves more than a bomb. He loves when stand-up comedians bomb. Two things. I love a bomb. I do love a bomb, but I love when folks make people uncomfortable. If you you ask me, and I told Joe Coy this, if Joe had went in this room and didn't make this Illuminati-filled room, right, uncomfortable, yeah. I would have been upset. Yeah. What you supposed to go in there and, like, water yourself down and conform to right. what they want? Right. If you can't make them laugh, make them uncomfortable. Now, I will say, I feel like the only reason Joe Coy is getting this kind of backlash is because of Taylor Swift. I didn't see that joke. Let's play it. Yeah. I only saw his opening monologue. Because you have joke. to see it. This is, I think this was, part of, this was an opening monologue. No. Nah. Nah, it wasn't? No, no, it wasn't. Oh, okay, okay. I saw the whole opening monologue. It wasn't. Really? So it you're was... telling me I didn't see the opening monologue? <laughs> <laughs> hold on. The fuck did you watch it? Yeah, you're I know. so happy I about it. I thought it was... The, hold on, let me see. No, this was not part of the opening no, monologue. No, I said it was the opening monologue. Yeah. Minutes. Okay, let's look at the Taylor Swift joke. As you know, we came on after a football doubleheader. Uh, The big difference between the Golden Globes and the NFL, on the Golden Globes, we have fewer camera shots of Taylor Swift. I swear. There's just more to go to. Fan-fucking-tastic. The camera work on this joke, (laughs) when they cut to Taylor Swift, that's the joke! The fact that Taylor Swift looks so livid and upset that's the first time we've seen Taylor Swift give us real emotion ever. Anytime it's an award show, she wins, she acts all fake surprise and acts like she can't believe it. You see her at a football game, she's cheering crazy for the other team when they score a touchdown because yeah. she doesn't know that she's supposed to be just cheering for the Chiefs <laughs> and Travis Kelsey. It's new to her. Yeah, yeah. That is the realest emotion we've ever seen Taylor Swift express <laughs> ever. What do you think she's expressing in that moment? She's like, how dare you talk about me? I'm the leader of the free world. I'm Taylor motherfucking Christ. Do you know who the fuck I am? And I guarantee you, that look right there, signaling the Swifties. That's sip with a drink. That's that's sip with a drink. Get him. She activated them? At at Joe Coy. That's why I think, if you ask me, that's why I think the backlash started. It was just off of that. I think that it magnified it because if you read... The critics and what the critics are saying, the critics are saying that the crowd didn't like it and social media didn't like it. Right. I think it's strictly because of the Swifties. Taylor Swift laughs at that joke, changes the whole night. Right. Right. Yeah. You don't think she laughed at the joke because it wasn't a funny joke? Yes, correct. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) As a comedian, what do you think is wrong with that joke? I think it's a great observation. Yeah, but we're talking about whether it's a great joke or not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Joe doesn't think it's a great joke. No, Joe's our guy. We love Joe. We love Joe, and he but doesn't think it's a great joke. I, I, I think he's he's reacting to the backlash. I don't feel like there's no way you don't feel like your joke was good. Why would you say it? That's true. I think that 
he was, I, listen, he said this already. He was like, I'm, I'm we're in a time, time crunch. We had 10 days to kind of put this stuff together. They come and they give him the offer. He takes up the offer. And uh, like, I, I, you know, there's probably going to be some fluff jokes that are inserted in there. There's a writing team that's going to be pitching him things. And he has to decide what's going to work with his voice and how, you know, and he maybe decide on that one, but it wasn't maybe the best. My feeling is like, listen, if you're going to go at the GOAT, you have to really come correct. Or... There's another energy. We talked about this on Flagrant, but like there's a whole, the way to win these kind of award shows is you have to not care. And the reality is, and Joe is open about this. I thought it was beautiful. He's like, he really did care. His, this was so important to him. His mom was so fucking starstruck <laughs> by. <laughs> so <it is. laughs> Joe, 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 no, Joe come on, yo. Come on, yo. Come on, yo. You got to stop doing that. Now, I'm going to tell y'all comedians a secret. What? Don't bring your mom and grandma to shows if you're not sure you got that shit. We saw this before. I'm not even going to bring up our guy's name because there's no need to rehash any Stop old it. trauma. Stop All I'm it. simply saying you're is... You're bad, bro. I, I seen no, some shit. Bad, oh, no. I seen some shit you're one bad. time. We all saw some shit Stop it, where bro. somebody was getting it Stop. handed to Stop. him and they had to let the crowd know, my grandma's here this time. <laughs> and that crowd told our guy, man, fuck your grandma, man. Get the fuck. Like, what the fuck? Fuck! You yeah. can't do that, bro. I'm glad Joe said that after the fact. The only way you win this shit is by not caring. This is what I'm trying to say. The way you win these moments is by not caring. And the reality is, and Joe was honest about it, it was a big deal for him to be there. He was incredibly excited. He did really care. And he did want to kill in that room. Joe's used to kill in front of fucking 10, 15, 20,000 people every single night. That's what he does. Yeah, but that is the squarest, stiffest, stick up the butt. That's why the only the way you win there is by not caring. Gervais, oh, I'm making him uncomfortable, like Ricky Gervais I'm does. I'm going to keep going. Okay. Gervais didn't care. That's why he made them uncomfortable. He's going to say the jokes that they're going to grow yeah, at. Yeah, yeah, and he yeah. don't give a fuck. Yeah. If you watch the beginning of the Gervais one, he literally just tells him, guys, I don't need to be here. I don't even want to do this. This is my last year. I'm not going to do this shit after that. They keep on asking me because clearly they don't care. I don't care. They don't care. Or they don't speak English. We're going to do some jokes. It's going to be about you guys. It's okay to laugh. He talks to them like they're children. Yeah, yeah, And they yeah. all got to respect him because he's right. more successful than 99% of them. So... And then he goes and does the jokes and he comes in at them. And when they groan, if you actually compare the amount of laughter between Gervais's set and Joe's set, Joe's probably gets more actual laughter. Oh, I know. But I laughed a lot. <laughs> I don't know what that's what I'm saying. Y'all are tripping. But I laughed a but lot. We want, we love, we love what you're laughing at is how uncomfortable Joe is. Well, Both. we well, <laughs> because they cut to the they cut to the crowd a lot. Yeah, but when we watched Ricky, we loved how uncomfortable the stars were. I like this too. Cause when they cut the Taylor Swift, she looks uncomfortable. No, no, we know you he, like it. He you made love the Barbie joke. That's he your made, favorite thing in the entire world. He made the Barbie joke. <laughs> Look at the joy that it is. <laughs> Joe, <laughs> yo, 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 Joe, don't let him do this to you. Yo. I love <laughs> hey, Joe, 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 you the Joe, goat. Don't let him do this to you, yo. Stop it. <laughs> don't let him do this to you, yo. It's okay. Feel your fit. What is this? <laughs> what is no. this? Which you one was this? No, oh, play this one. Play this one. They cut the Ryan Gosling and the other girl from Barbie. Play this one. Play this I, one. I thought this joke was actually good. Let me hear it. The key moment in Barbie is when she goes from perfect beauty to bad breath, cellulite, and flat feet. Or what casting directors call character actor. <laughs> Yo, <what? laughs> Yo, yeah, Joe! Yeah, Joe! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Yes, Joe. Listen, the Who camera. Did that Joe needs to send the camera people some Christmas yo, gifts or son, something, yo. That shit was felt like that <laughs> Key and Peel sketch. Son, that shit was like an office. You, you seen the Key and Peel sketch? <laughs> you not you not looking at key things? No, no, about, but hold on, hold on. Did you, have you seen that Key and uh, Peel sketch one? where they go? Uh, they're talking about something like is listen. There could be plenty of different people. There could be Asians, white people, gay people. And the camera pans to to a dude, and the dude's like. And then he goes, what I'm trying to say is that we have tons of diversity here. There are gay people. They care of pants back to the dude. And the dude's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Yo, 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 what's going on? You keep coming to me. Yo, go back to that video. So why did the cameraman go to her for the ugly joke? It would, No, he went to Emma. Then he went to Ryan Gosling and the other girl from Barbie. No, he went to Emma, Emma Stone, Stone for the character Who is that right actor. there? That's not Ryan Gosling right there? No. <laughs> 
Who the fuck is that? I, I hate you, bro. You wanted, my, you wanted my. Hold on, that's Emma Stone right there. You wanted my most hated people that I know. So who was the life. first white girl? That was the Margot Barbie. Robbie Barbie. You don't even know the jokes, Joe. Joe, don't listen to this motherfucker. He don't. Even, he didn't even watch the monologue. He don't even know the jokes. He no, just I, I thought the it. content. I just thought that was Barbie. I didn't watch Barbie. Hold on, go back though. Go back. Go you back to the. Did go watch back. Barbie? I didn't. Go back. You to went the, with your to, kids. No, I let her go by herself. Go, Taylor. Go back to the other video. Watch. Go back <laughs> to the beginning. Lies. Watch the first three seconds. Watch this. Dude. The wiping of the lips Stop. and the old boy. Look, yeah. look, look. Yeah. Hold on, go back. Go back. Go back. Look. You're a bad show. Look, look, show. Look, 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 look. Watch my guy. Watch my guy. Watch, Ooh. watch. The key moment in Barbie oh, God. is when you <laughs> <laughs> to fat breasts, cellulite, and flat feet. So just Here. keep you know going. What? Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. The director's called character actor. <laughs> yes! Pause! Pause! Yes, pause. Man. pause! He goes, he goes, he goes, cellulite. Bad breath. Bad breath. Flat feet. Flat feet. The cameraman goes, who do I got? Who do I got? Emma Stone. That's not disrespectful. Yeah, he should have stayed on the Barbie. Yeah. That's what I thought he did. I thought he paid the bar. I thought that was Barbie and Ken. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> no. I thought these two. I swear. I, did. Yeah. I, I swear. I thought this was Barbie and Ken. Yeah, this I had did. no idea. <laughs> who are these an people? Who are these two right here? <laughs> Just two other actors. I have, Stone and who have who nothing this other to guy? do with. Nobody knows who that guy is. That's crazy, yo. You're I, crazy. I thought that was Barbie You're and Ken. Crazy. I thought that was Ryan. Barbie's Gosling. the biggest fucking movie all year. You know damn well Barbie's not a ginger. I, I, when I has thought, Barbie been I, a ginger? I she dyed her hair. I didn't know. I thought she might have died for the movie. Oh my God. It was just on Barbie and then it left Barbie. What else we got? Give me some more Joe Coy. <laughs> Give me some, what else? Missed, what I missed? Reaction? Whose reaction? Joe Coy some I wrote, some other people. Hold on, go back. Robert no, no, this is great. Hold on. <laughs> Stop. Hold on. Hold on. Go scroll back to that part. That was, this was fan fucking tastic. Listen. Uh, yo, sorry, this is evil. directors call character actor. <laughs> some I wrote, some other people wrote. Robert De Niro's here. <laughs> yo, I got the gig 10 days ago. You want a perfect monologue? Yo, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you're kidding me, right? Ah! Slow down. I wrote some of these, and they're the ones you're laughing at. Look. I laughed at them all, Joe. Robert De Niro's here. I'm sorry. I'm a fan. Yo, you're a, yo, you're <laughs> evil. How buddy. is that funny? Nah, you evil, Man, shout out to the nah, ghost nah, of your fucking evil, court. Just the yeah. key is to make people laugh. Go back, go back to fucking Zanzibar, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Stay in Zanzibar. You're I evil, son. I laughed. I laughed. Did you hear what he just said? The key is to make people laugh. No, no, <laughs> no, that no. I it's laughed. not by any means necessary. I I, all this cringe shit they talking about. I didn't get any of that. I saw him making a room full of industry plants uncomfortable. That's what you're supposed to do when you're a comedy rebel like Joe Coy. <laughs> All right? Let's go, Joe Coy. You are the Neo of the fucking Golden Globes, all right? You went in there and you shook up the fucking Matrix. Shout out to Joe fucking Coy. Would you ever do this? Would you ever do the Golden Globes? The Golden Globes? Yes. I'm not, I'm not against it, but I would have to do it the way I would want to do it. You would have to Write a bunch of jokes, let them approve it, and then go out there and go wrong. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna tell you right now what I would do exactly that. I would have them you'd write have a to. script and I go, okay, I'm gonna do that, and then I would just have go a completely different wrong. script. Go yeah. on. I would walk, if I was Joe Coy, Joe I'm Coy, telling you right now. Joe Coy should have walked out there and said, yo, shout out to everybody in here who's on the Epstein list. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> See, it's, it's, hard. Hard. it's harder than you it's think. Hard, <laughs> it's, harder than you, it's harder than you think. It's only there to make people uncomfortable. Listen, watch a chain. Watch a chain. Cater to the conspiracy theorists online. The fact that you only got the gig ten days ago. Yeah. That means somebody else had it. Somebody dropped out. Yeah. Who was that person? Or they were trying to to get somebody. Who do you think it was? Jimmy Kimmel. No. Probably. And Jimmy what's says, up, "What's it. up with Jimmy? He's still upset." Yeah, Jimmy ain't fucking with you. Why? <laughs> Jimmy not fucking. Wait, 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 real? <laughs> no, <he not>. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy upset, bro. And Jimmy, Jimmy, fuck, Jimmy, Jimmy fucks with you too. He, he fucks with you. He says he, he says, should. Yeah, he said he really likes your comedy. He, got, he should. He got put on to your comedy by Matt Damon. Shout out to Matt. Matt's yeah. the motherfucking man. Thank you, Matt, for yeah. spreading the word. And he said if you don't believe that his uh 
If you don't believe his... His mailbox his, is full yeah, of death threats. If you don't believe his family was in danger, come to his house and he let you see his uh. I mail. believe it. I, I know Matt Damon be putting huh. fucking death threats in his mailbox and freaking them out and shit like that. Listen, <laughs> Matt Damon's a prankster, bro. I'm just... Did, Listen, didn't Jimmy Kimmel have one of the best prank shows? I, like That's I a great prank. Th this is what I told Jimmy. I told Jimmy, I said, <laughs> be a fan. Jimmy disappointed me. I'm heartbroken. Well, so, well, I'm a huge fan, and to see him act like this is, is heartbreaking, bro. <laughs> Please don't listen to Flagrant tomorrow, Jimmy. <laughs> no. <laughs> so you... <laughs> Why you do that to Jimmy, I'm man? disappointed in him. I looked up to him. Damn. I admired him. <laughs> Did you see? I didn't see the response. He's acting like a lesbian. Oh. He's acting like a purple-haired lesbian online. This is what I told Jimmy. I said, to be a fan of Andrew Schultz is to know Andrew doesn't take any ser anything serious. Yo, you come back. And if you started with jokes, you got to come back with jokes. And, that's what and I you got to be ready when the other do. You saw what Aaron Rodgers says, right? I told him that's how you felt. I told him that he feels like a comedian should always be willing to take jokes. But I think what, what's being missed here is I don't think, uh, what's his name? Aaron was joking. Yo, did you not see Aaron's response? No. What did Aaron you say? Pull it up, Taylor. Aaron, Aaron, yeah, look at Aaron's response. He goes, uh, I'm okay to move on, and we're all good, as long as he knows I didn't say his name was on the list. That's how I took it. Of course, because that's what he said. The joke was he doesn't want it out, not because he's on that's it. That's what I said last week on the idiots. I felt yeah. like he just didn't, I felt like Jimmy didn't believe the list was real. So this was going to happen. Oh, but oh, he told Can me. Can I say one thing? Yeah, he told me the context. No, no, I understand the context. Okay. Though. This was going to happen. In two months, this is all going to blow over. Not even that or a month, a week, two weeks, and Jimmy's gonna look back on this and he's just gonna go, oh, fuck, man, this is, I'm a comedian, I was making fun of a guy, he made fun of me, I should've just made fun of him again. I'm a comic, this is what we do, this is what I would do in any other situation. It's scary when Matt Damon puts fake death threats in your mailbox. <laughs> There's no question, that's gonna be absolutely terrifying. Or when the list you're on, or the list that they, they're saying you're on, even though it's a fake list, is a list saying that you fuck little kids. But that wasn't out. There is no oh, I list. Know, but, but see, here's, you're making things up. No, but here's the and thing. And Aaron never said he was on the list. He, did, I didn't, I didn't. Once I heard back the context, I didn't think so either. But here's the thing: we live in a society, and we can all go look at what happened in D.C. at that pizza place. Don't be all serious. What, what, now. No, seriously, though. But with that rumor, you making fun of Joe no. Coy's dream two seconds I hate ago. Joe Coy was now funny. you make it. Yo, you, <laughs> yo, he, you're an animal. I, I think know. he was what hilarious. You're doing, what you're doing is dangerous. You watched that, you're and you doing. said Charlemagne loved this. I know you watched this, and you said, you know. Who's probably laughing at this the most? Charlemagne. Because you can know, I be honest with you? I'm <laughs> shocked it took you this long to send me what you sent him. But I couldn't even say hello today. I was like, what's up? Yo, yo, let me show you. Let me show you. <laughs> no, I said, I said, what's up with the goat? Show <laughs> fucking coin. Okay? But just what Jimmy nah, said. Nah, this is cruel, yo. Jimmy said, nah, this what is, is this? Cruel, what is this? Hold this on, what is, is this? This is all the reactions at the same time. <laughs> this is cruel, son. Pick your Joe Coy reaction. This is cruel, yo. Okay, so who is that? Who's that? Is that, is that Quinta Brunson in the red? Uh, uh, no. Okay. I don't know who any of these people are. All right, I mean, that's Richard Gere and Julia Roberts. That's Robinson Indiana the Jones in the bottom right. That's not Richard Gere and Julia Roberts? Yo, you are a racist fucking piece of shit. Who is that? That is Indiana Jones. That's in Indiana right. oh, that's Jones. that's Harrison Ford. Yeah. That's Harrison Ford yeah. and, and then Jane Fonda. Not Meryl Streep, but the other white lady that plays all the roles. Uh, Jane Fonda? No, no. You know her. The fuck is her name? I don't know. Cruella DeVille. Cruella DeVille? This is funny. What joke did he say that caused this reaction? Yo, stop it. <laughs> oh, but Jimmy said that he said the context that was missed is that uh, that Aaron Rodgers was suggesting that recent UFO sightings were some kind of conspiracy to distract the country from the Epstein list. Yeah. So when he was calling Aaron a tinfoil hatter, yeah. that is that is that uh, is hey, why. Hey, hey, great joke. Good. Make the joke. Make fun of Aaron Rodgers. When Aaron Rodgers comes back and makes fun of you. Use your platform to make fun of him again. We're comedians here. Aaron's not even a comedian, yeah. and he's getting your panties in a bunch. Yeah, I go back to what I said last week. I think a lot of times people respond to the reaction of things and not what was actually said. Being that Sorry. Aaron said what he said, and everybody started running with Jimmy Kimmel is on the Epstein list, I think he was responding to that. Man, they had Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi Goldberg is fucking on The View responding to this fake-ass Epstein list. What's Whoopi, Whoopi Goldberg doing? They had Whoopi on the fake. There's a fake Epstein list. There is a fake list. And Whoopi, I think, I don't know if Whoopi showed it on The View, but I, they, I saw the list online. There's a fake list that Whoopi was on. And she had to explain that she's not on it. Yo. What would Whoopi be doing at Epstein's house? Oh, man. 
<laughs> Why would she even be there, though? That's my. I don't know. I have no idea. But that's my point. What's your point? My point is the list isn't real. But the fact that these people have to go out there and explain it, the only reason they have to explain it is because motherfuckers is crazy. I'm, the Pizzagate shit was real. People stormed that place with guns. One guy stormed it. With a gun. He hey. thought he was a hero because he believed this story. I know. So bro. my so, that so QAnon is so, dangerous. That's what I'm saying. So but once he went in there and he saw that there was no pedophile ring, you know what he did? What the, what the fuck, fuck was that? They, they listening, yo. That. They listening, bro. What the fuck They listening, bro. Because you don't believe it, God and you don't believe damn, it, and they yo. you gonna find out. What's you up, gonna Taylor? find out? Why would you? You gonna find what's out? What's up, man? Jesus Christ! Come on, Taylor. Stop it with that shit. You just calling all your, your your boys that you called down to Miami? But you go, here's the thing, though. We have to know how dangerous shit like this is, though. It is because people are fucking insane nowadays. Mm -hmm. So don't people make jokes about it, yo. Jimmy Kimmel, don't make jokes about it. If you scared about the reaction to the jokes, don't make jokes about it. Like, I, I, mean, listen, I said last week on the pod. What are we talking know, about here? Like, I, I said last week on the pod that after I heard it. Also, in Aaron Rodgers didn't make the joke on fucking... Let's put things in context here. He didn't make the joke on Alex Jones's show. He made it on ESPN. That's worse. No. Alex Jones' show, it, it fits. <laughs> I would expect conspiracy no, theories my, to fly. My point you is- You say it on ESPN on Pat McAfee my, while I'm just sitting trying to figure out who fucking won some games this my, week. My point is they both made it on the same network. The same network that owns oh, ABC. Company, ABC. Yeah, okay, is, okay. You know what I mean? Yo, this shit is like- it, you want to get real conspiratorial? They're Talk both me. in on it. They're trying to boost ratings. Ooh. They're both in. Oh, let's get real tinfoil hat. They're both in on including Matt Damon. Matt Damon in that mailbox right now. <laughs> Matt Damon in that mailbox right now. I don't think they, I don't think you bring the I don't think you bring your kids into it if if you're in on it. Like I don't think Jimmy would say, hey, my kids are, my family's in danger. Not. My listen, kids obviously, are, listen, you nobody wants mistakes like Hassan Minaj. Like, like Salmonella? Hana Let's hear what Jimmy said. Oh, last night. Go to Jimmy's yeah. monologue. Um. Hassan Minaj. Listen, here's the, <laughs> here's the reality. You know what? Listen, when calling kids Hassan Minaj Salmonella is crazy. Salmonella, <laughs> Salmonella is wild. Like. Listen, here's the reality. You know what? Listen, nobody wants kids to be hurt. Nobody wants kids to be involved in any way. It's terrifying when that comes to your family. Nobody wants, I don't think anybody here wants Jimmy's. I don't think Aaron wants Jimmy's family or Jimmy to feel any sort of uh, lack of security at oh, all. Oh, Jimmy wanted an apology. From that, I didn't see the monologue. From what I heard, he ended the monologue by saying, if you give me an apology, it's a wrap. That's all he wants is an apology. And Aaron For a joke. I we got know. comedians asking other comedians to apologize for jokes. I don't know if it was a joke as this much as... This what I'm saying. It was just something that was taken out of context. Jimmy college. thinks... Pause. Jimmy thinks that... Jimmy thinks that, like... We're being unfair to him. No, we're treating you like a comic because you're a comic to us, man. You're somebody we looked up to. When we were growing up, we looked up to you. Yo, I thought you, you said Jimmy stinks. Pause. Stop. <laughs> and all I saw was you smelling a condom. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you see this crazy person? Yo, Jimmy, you this is the guy on your side, the crazy guy over here. The guy, we talking about you, and he's yes. thinking about condoms. I got a tinfoil uh, push icy mask. But what happened? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? How did that just come to you? Yo, just tell tell your boy Jimmy this is that he's you, listening. I'm he's, sure. Jimmy, you're a comedian to us, bro. So you, as a comedian, you can't be out here when somebody makes fun of you after you made fun of them, calling the cops, saying you want to take them to court, and now asking for an apology for a joke. We hold you to the standards of a comedian. If you were Ryan Seacrest, okay, I get it. You're not Ryan Seacrest. You could body Aaron Rodgers. You're nice with jokes. You could body him in a heartbeat. If That's I, what we want to see. I'm with you on everything, but if I thought... It's so like rap. If you saw a rapper, what if one rapper said something about another rapper, then that other rapper came back and the other one was like, I I'm taking this to court. How dare you? Depends what the rapper said. Talk to me. If the rapper says some shit and says I'm a pedophile, I try to imply I'm a pedophile or, 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 but that or wasn't a rapist what said. or some shit like that, I got to fucking... Nah, you're not going to play with me like that now. You know what I mean? But he didn't say that. We know he didn't say that. He didn't. I mean, when I like I said, that's why when I go back, when I listened to it last week in context, I'm like, I don't think Aaron was saying he was on the list. I Literally think Aaron wasn't was just saying, saying that Jimmy didn't want the list to come out because Which Jimmy didn't joke. want to be wrong about their there being a list. They're not being a list. Which is also just a joke. Yeah. He's it's a joke. I mean, but like, I will say this: Jimmy was correct about 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 something. He was correct that the list that they had been circulating since last year wasn't real. Mm. It wasn't a real list. 
So therefore, the list that came out this week that is a real list that actually exists, which is nothing like we thought. Because what you what you say last week that it wasn't it's the, the people on the list aren't guilty Jimmy, of I'm any sorry. crime. I'm sorry. See. I'm sorry your friend Matt Damon plays such dirty tricks. <laughs> you know, but this is from never inviting him on your show. For how long? Matt Damon's never been on Jimmy Kimmel's show? No, remember they would do that oh, thing where we don't joke. have time yeah, yeah, for yeah. Matt Damon. This is the, the payback. It's, it's, a, it's a devious joke. It's I don't devious. know, man. I just think it is a great time to be a comedian. Yes, Comedians are wrong. Yes, Fine, son. Yes, you, <laughs> you need to apologize to Joe, son. I love Joe. That. You need to apologize to Joe. I love Joe Coy. Joe. You need to apologize to Jimmy okay, Kimmel. I apologize. That's a joke. Joe, I am so sorry that people can't see the greatness in what you did on that Golden Globe stage the other night. That shit was incredible, okay? The most memorable award show hosting that we've had in years. When is the last one you can even remember, Shopes? Ricky Gervais is the last one. And when was that? 2017? But wasn't that the last one? I think so. No, it wasn't. Yeah, they had a break. They had a break. They did? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nah, when was the last time Ricky Gervais hosted? When? That was it. They had a break. All right, so top two Golden Globe hosts of all time. Ricky Gervais, Joe Coy, what's up? Do you know why they had a break? COVID. No. Why? Writer strike? Nope. What? After that uh, pedophile pizza shit, they got nervous. <laughs> they, were ca they were catching on to them. They, were catch they, they raided their pizza spot. And then after their pizza spot, they were coming closer. They had to shut it down for like, a little let's bit. Let's get low for a little while. I'm saying they got low. Did they not? <laughs> Did they not? They definitely got low. Come Everybody on, got low, yo. All I know is, man. Shout out I, to Jimmy Kimmel, bro. I have between Cat Williams, we Jimmy love you, Kimmel, Jimmy. Joe we Coy. love you. But you're still a comedian to us, Jimmy. So that's Still the a th comedian to us. So that's the thing. You'll Comedi never not be a comedian, Comedians bro. want comedians just to be comedians. So imagine Eddie Murphy sued someone for making a joke about that. So there's nothing... It's like, it'd be heartbreaking. But, I'd be like, are you kidding me? So like, there's got to be things that if somebody said about you, you wouldn't want to just... You wouldn't want to make Of joke. course, there's th there's certain things that would be that would be hurtful if people made fun of me, of course. But if I started making fun of them and then they responded with that, that is the game you play. You know if you're if you're a battle rapper or something like that and you make fun of somebody and you know that they go there. Yeah, yeah, now yeah. he didn't think Aaron went there. That's what he thought. He thought he had an easy target that wasn't gonna punch back. Mm. And he found out he didn't. And I bet you let's let's see if he's making more jokes. Let's see. Let's see what he said. <laughs> let's see what he said, Taylor. Then got into Cal on a football scholarship and didn't graduate. Someone who never spent a minute studying the human body is an expert in the field of immunology. He just put on a, he put on a magic helmet and he, that G made him a genius. <laughs> Good Aaron joke. got two A's on his report card. They were both in the word Aaron, okay? <laughs> this. A guy who went to community college, then got I mean, into Cal- Play, play some more of them here. Came back with jokes. That's good. Why That's wasn't good. this the That's response? Good, yeah. Like, if he never said a single thing, Clap back on the show, mm -hmm. zinger, 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 zinger. Now it's up to Aaron to come back. I love. This is what I love. Yeah. Oh, this is. I'm not gonna lie. To all this shit feel like the multiverse because this is Yo, random as fuck. Aaron got to come Jimmy back Kimmel with the versus Aaron Rodgers. I love, Rogers. That's what I love the you. ether beat. Aaron got to come back with the ether beat. Someone give Aaron the ether beat. <laughs> How does ether start? Fuck Jay Z. What's up, What's up nigga? Noah. <laughs> Don't start like that, Aaron. What's please. up, Noah? <laughs> Don't start with the N word. Aaron. No, you, it's Noah's Noah. new N word. <laughs> Noah. You don't know about that college football player, the white dude named. Oh, it's spelled. That's how you pronounce no, it. No, his first name is Noah. His last name is K. Best word that you can't say. Yes. Oh, it sounds like. That. <laughs> <laughs> that say that name, yo. You and said, I can't say that name. You said the slur that starts with K is the best slur you can say. What'd you say? I didn't say that. I you said sure? something entirely different. Yo, when did you become a real Matt Damon pranking me all the time? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you being such a Matt Damon pranking me all the goddamn time? Yo, that's a time? wild last name. That's Sorry, not his real last name. That's no, his real, real last name. We found a way around the system, and you can't say it. And you can't say it. And you can't say it. Chris, you can half say it, you Chinese motherfucker. <laughs> Yo, that's funny to write that on paper, and then somebody looks at it and be like, the K is silent. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so good. <laughs> that is so crazy. Let can me I say it? it? Hold on, the announcer no. says it. Why can't I say it? It's not the word. Let me, hear, let, me hear, let me hear it. I don't. I don't think the announcer. Press the play. That's the, what is that? You mean the announcer? The, the announcer be saying that shit left oh, and that's right. Oh, just his highlights. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now go with the announcer saying it. There's a basketball one with the announcer. Yeah, he Name plays basketball really too. Name really Noah nigga. Cun. Cun. 
cut nigga? Yeah. Yo, your NIL deal gonna suck, son. I'm I'm sponsoring. <laughs> son, we trying to sponsor him for flavor. That's gonna be our first. That's gonna be our first flavored athlete. Yo, your NIL deal gonna suck. Nah, we're gonna spend, we're gonna pay He's you. He's not getting shit from the NIL. I paid him. Nobody paying for that jersey. I jer paid him. I wanna wear that jersey. <laughs> Yo, I'm wearing the jersey backwards. You know how many people are gonna rush to get that jersey? Oh bro? my nah. god. Come on, Charlotte. Come on. I don't think so. Come on, yo. Maybe, maybe 15 years ago. Not now. By the way, industry fucking plan. Say again? Say industry What's plan. What's an industry plan? Industry plan. No a nigga is an industry plan. It's not yeah. that way. It's yeah. nah. No a good nigga? <laughs> Thank you. They combine two slurs? Right. I'm not that We people. got y'all. We got y'all. <laughs> How you we combine? Got that's a plan. How you combine two slurs, Because that's what yo. we do. We Get got y'all. There's no way. Just admit that y'all got got. <laughs> Just admit that y'all got got. No, nigga. That's what it says. Yeah, I know. That's it. No, nigga. It's just, you know, you know, nigga. Like, no, that is fire. You know, a nigga. No. Uh, <laughs> it's the best. No. My boy, no. Uh, He's no. Listen, this is not real. It's not. This, this, this young man was made in a laboratory. I bet you if you do his origin story, you can't even find his origin story. Uh, You've never seen that last name ever in your life. It's a, it's a real last name. It's just anybody with it probably stayed very low. <laughs> he's the I first. Changed he's, it. he's the first one to yo, step out and be like, "Yo, my I'm man standing is on. a oh, he's nice. Okay. He's six two, two hundred five pounds, forty yard dash, four nine. Yo, no, change your last name. No, to Goldberg or fucking Fox or something, yo. Yo, that's no. Don't let him disrespect you like that. Yo, be proud of your last name. Say it loud. Say it proud. Drop the K. If you white or black. <laughs> White. White. If he was black, this wouldn't be a fucking news story, dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, the fuck is going on? <laughs> what is that? Is that? If it was black, it wouldn't even be a story. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let me hear. Let me hear how you pronounce it. It's the name Kaniga. God damn. Kaniga. All right. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. Kaniga. Shit. <laughs> My God. Kaniga. Son, I need to start one of these channels. Oh, I know. So I need to start one of these channels. Cunt and nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Can I say it or not? Mm -mm. No. Why not? No. It's my my last name to say. Mm -mm. Y'all can't. <laughs> he just got to say Noah even, K. Noah K. Noah K. Yeah, Noah K. That's all you can do. Noah can I K. say Noah and Kana? <laughs> nope. No. Nah, that's just wild. Noah Kana? Noah Kana, high school star. Clears up how to pronounce his name in an interview with Robert Griffin III after going viral. Ain't no fucking way. Online. Let me see that shit. Ain't no way he says it right to a black guy. Hold let me on. hear it. Nah, let you me. I never, yeah, this is crazy. This is crazy. Click it. Let me hear it. Not right there. You right there. You got it. Yo, you had it. You this had is it. a spoof. Uh, Life is a fucking spoof. Go on, scroll Life up. Life is that a shit mystery. Says, that the Kaniga family. <laughs> yeah, scroll, scroll up, Ty. Taylor. Right, Taylor. Scroll up. <laughs> it says the Kaniga family went viral, so I decided to sit down and get to know the Kanigas behind the name. <laughs> what the fuck yo, is going shout on in America, to Robert. Yo? What is his name? <laughs> Robert Griffin the Third. Shout out to Robert Griffin the Third. RG three, getting down. Let's go. Let's go. The RG three. I'm if old enough. If you don't click to, that fucking video, I swear to God, I'm old enough to remember. Remember when people thought RG3 was a cornball? We bro. need a picture. We need a video. Man. I need to hear him pronouncing his name. Go on YouTube. Taylor is so crazy. Just do Noah the last name RG3 interview. I mean, we got to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, I just want to hear him say it. This got to be awkward for him, man. Like, where does you he live? You think this is awkward for him? It's awkward for everyone else. He's used to his name. It's like someone who's cockeyed. Like, it's not weird for him. Imagine hearing that shit in the airport. <laughs> <laughs> it's everybody else trying to an eye. Right? Like, <laughs> Imagine hearing that shit in the airport. <laughs> Give me the fucking laptop, Taylor. Oh, is it? Okay. You found it? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Taylor. So, so, so many cockeyed people are so sad right now. <laughs> nah, cockeyed people, these mad cockeyed people are hurt, man. They listen to the brilliant of this podcast, man. How you just shit on our whole cockeyed community, Sorry. man. You know what I'm saying? Charlamagne said that, bro. <laughs> Scroll down the All right, let's hear it. Let's go. Sorry, have you guys ever been to Paris? It's a random question, but it's not a, it's not a random question. It's a random question. RG3 think he's fucking know. funny. Pause it right there. You wanted to get the Kaniga in Paris joke yeah. off, Raj, RG3. Everybody want to be a fucking comedian. I didn't even see that shit coming. Yes. Right. You should have let me let <laughs> roll into that. Let's hear it. He said it. 
I know the song. I'm just, I'm just asking him the question. I can't feed him the answer. We've never been to Paris. Plug. How do you pronunciate the last name? Also, this is how you pronounce it. It's Noah Kanega. You say it. Uh, Nick can't eat fucking chicken, Robert Griffin, while you're having this conversation. See that? There's no way. to the fucking chicken. There's no way he's eating a chicken. Wait. Look, look, look at this shit. And then as soon as he bites into the chicken, the name pops up. It's Noah, nigga. Go back. Scroll back, Taylor. Look. Look. Oh, my God. Oh, it's Kun. Can I say that? No. Yeah, I can say that. I don't know. What do you say? Say it again. Say it again. crazy. I'm trying to set you up. Yo, life is a spoof. Wait, what do you mean it's a spoof? This shit ain't real no more. What do you mean it's not? This is an SNL sketch. It's a Dave Chappelle. Chappelle. This is fucking Key and Peele. Like, this shit don't even make no sense. Why not? (laughs) A white What, white people can't be named the N-word, bro? No. Not your whole last name. Yo, 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 yo. You You need to really open your mind and your heart. So if we have Slave Master's last name, Mm -hmm. did the slave fuck one of his ancestors? Yeah, they're they're ancestors of white slaves. And they took the... (laughs) They took took the last name of the slave that fucked their great-great-great-grandmother? Yes, but but they were called the Cracker, and so they made it short. (laughs) They were called Cracker. The white slaves were called Cracker. Taylor, give me some bills to pay. No! <laughs> these, no! These fucking Kniggers, man. Yo, Jesus. don't put the ER on it. That's not even the name. <laughs> oh. Damn, bro. Jesus Christ, What about man. naysayers? You heard of that one? Naysayers? What, what was it? Shut up, man. Yo, what? <laughs> the, no, the guy, the guy's what brand was hell? Lank or something like that. What was it? Uh, let a naysayer. Oh, yeah, let a naysayer know. Yeah. Let a naysayer know. <laughs> so no. now motherfuckers going out here calling saying naysayer instead of the N-word. <laughs> Yo, isn't that crazy? Can oh, I say that? God. How many words can I not say? You can say, say naysayer. You can say naysayer. naysayer. You can say naysayer. But I can't say like. You can't oh. say cut naysayer. I'm not going to say Kanaysayer. No, don't say Kanaysayer. <laughs> but I'm not going to say naysayer in any kind of bad situation. They've been saying that you've been saying the N-word on this podcast for at least seven yeah. years. Me? Yes. I've never said that. They be, they be chopping and screwing bits and pieces. He said it right here. I have never they said that. They say Andrew that. likes to say it when it's fits of laughter. No. So people can't really hear I got, it. So I <laughs> cut it in. You just no. sneak it in like no. an ad lib. No. So when it's mad laughter, Andrew's be like, a nigga. <laughs> That would be a great time to do it. <laughs> but I'm not going to do it. I'm a naysayer. I'm a naysayer. <laughs> my naysayer, my naysayer. Uh, let's pay some bills. Salute to Chime, man. No matter how you're starting off the year, when you use the secured Chime credit builder, Visa credit card, you can build your credit scores with on-time payments for everyday purchases. If they're where an overachieving credit card that helps you build credit, this would be it. When your credit's good, your future's also good, okay? Use your Chime credit builder, Visa credit card everywhere. Visa credit cards are accepted. And build your credit using your own money. Plus, there's no annual fee, interest, or credit check to get started. Get paid up to two days early with direct deposit. What does that say? Oh, with a qualifying direct deposit, you can get access to your money sooner. Overdraft up to $200 without fees. Which spot me when you set up a qualifying direct deposit, okay? Just set up a qualifying direct deposit, sign up for Spot Me, and Chime will spot you up to your limit where you make a credit card purchase or cash withdrawal that exceeds your balance. Start building your credit. Open a Chime checking account with at least a $200 qualifying direct deposit to get started, okay? Get started at Chime.com slash idiots. That's Chime.com slash idiots. Chime credit building visa credit card is issued by Bank Corp Bank, NA, or Shrine Bank, NA members, FDIC. Out of network ATM withdrawal, no account advance fees may apply. Reach out to touch 1-844-244-6363 for details. Late payment may negatively impact your credit score. Results may vary. Early access to direct deposit funds depends on payer. Spot me eligibility requirements and over Supply. You want to do Factor Shorts? Absolutely, guys. Get started on your resolutions with Factor. So you're ready for the new year. Factor's ready to eat meal delivery, takes the stress out of meal planning, and sets you up for success in the new year. Listen, skip the grocery lines, the prep work, and the cooking fatigue. Save your time. Instead, get chef 
handcrafted, dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door with over 35 meals to choose from per week, including options like keto, calorie smart, vegan and veggie, and more, plus over 55 weekly add-ons. You'll have a ton of nutritious and flavorful options to kickstart your resolutions, okay? Skip the overpriced takeout trap. Factor is cheaper and way more delicious, mind you, than takeout. The chef-crafted restaurant-style meals delivered right to your door are gonna knock your socks off, okay? They're ready to heat and eat in just two minutes, which means more time for you, more time for the family, more time for your wife, more time for your side chick, tons of more time for you to do what you do, stress less over meal times in the new year, factors, no prep, no mess, meals free up time, otherwise spend shopping, cooking, cleaning, no more wasting time in the kitchen. Factor has everything that I need for a week of flavorful, nutritious eats. In addition to ready to eat meals, they have cold pressed juices, smoothies, energy bites, extra protein, veggie sides, and more to keep you energized during frantic times. I say try it. Try it, see if it works for you. See if it provides a little bit more health in your life. You're not eating this bullshit takeout all the time. You try it. If it makes you in better shape, you feel like you have more energy, your skin is starting to look better, you're sleeping better, everything has improved. You're welcome. Head to factormeals.com slash idiots50 and use the code idiots50 to get 50% off. That's code idiots50 at factormeals.com slash idiots50 to get 50% off. Now let's get back to the show. Hey, yo, let's do some church announcements. Let's go. Also, Joe Coy, stop apologizing. <laughs> Yo, happens. Cause I just saw a New York Daily News article. He's like, Joe Coy defends himself after Taylor Swift's icy response to so Golden Joe. you don't Joe. want comedians to apologize. I don't need him to apologize for that. He did his job. He made a room full of industry, Illuminati folks feel uncomfortable. He made me laugh. I don't care about everybody else. I enjoyed it. What's the church announcement, Schultz? Yo, the Life Tour, man. Yeah. The Life Tour, we added a show. I'm coming to Boston this week, and we'll be there Friday, Saturday. We added a third show. Uh, we've also added second show in Phoenix. We've added a fourth show in San Francisco. Um, we've got uh, Austin, Texas on there as well. Plenty other cities. We've added a bunch of shows. Go to theandrewschultz.com for those new dates. Thank you guys so much for coming out to these shows. Man, Chicago is crazy. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. The Life Tour is back on American soil. The American Tour yeah. has begun. Uh, go get my guy Doug Melville's book, Invisible Generals. It's out everywhere you buy books right now. Uh, go check out Broke Down Profits and Unleash for Love on Audible right now. Uh, that's from me and Kevin Hart's company, SBH Productions. Uh, yeah, man. And uh, oh, listen, we just added, uh, we just partnered with a new a new podcast for the Black Effect Podcast. Let's Network, go. Man. And it's somebody who, believe it or not, a long time ago, used to listen to the brilliant idiots. Uh, I'm sure she doesn't as much anymore, <laughs> okay? But she is a great human. I think she is a generational, once in a generation, cultural shifting, spiritual leader. Uh, the Woman Evolved podcast from Sarah Jake Roberts is now on the Black Effect iHeartRadio podcast network. So What's her name? Sarah Jakes Roberts. That's Bishop T.D. Jake's daughter. She's one of the most phenomenal- Get out of here. One of the most phenomenal speakers, phenomenal pastors. Like her sermon that she just put out this past Sunday called Stay in Your Lane, incredible. You are women are allowed to be pastors? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Is that that crazy to absolutely. ask? I didn't know if that was that crazy to ask. Absolutely. Salute to the whole Jake's family, right. man. Is you that know? a crazy thing to ask? How many female pastors do you know of? That's not a crazy thing to ask. Why wouldn't it? Like I mean, why wouldn't it? Because religion oftentimes... Absolutely. Salute to her. Salute to her husband, Torre. Salute to the bishop, man. I call him the first family of faith, man. Ooh. But you can now listen Shout to, out to uh, T.D. Jakes, Woman man. Evolved podcast on the Black Effect iHeartRadio podcast. I love this. Work. Um, What's the podcast about? It's called Woman of All. I mean, the thing I like about Sarah J. Roberts is that she is a spiritual leader, but she doesn't just talk about spirituality. You know mm. what I mean? Like, she's a mother. You know, um, she, she, she had a child. You know, she was a teen mother, actually. So imagine that. Imagine being a teen mother, you know, for, for a pastor, not just a pastor, one of the most famous pastors in the world, you know? And she also is really, really big on mental health. And the way that she... It's the intersectionality that she does between mental health and spirituality that I just find... Does she work on the stigma? Very fascinating. Eradicating the stigma? Yeah. Yeah, 100%. She's dope. She's but with what, though? With 
You trying to set me up? Damn it! I had him on the ropes. I got too greedy. He trying to set. But salute to Sarah Jakes. Make sure you listen to the uh, Woman of All podcast on the Black Spec iHeart Radio Woman podcast. Woman of all. Woman evolve. Woman evolve. Yeah. And working on removing the stigma. <laughs> what? I'm not even listening to you. Listen to what? Listen. Here's listen the to thing. what? Jonathan Majors. Is Jonathan Majors back? I don't think he ever left. I think that. Um, I mean, you de definitely got kicked out. Poor guy is stuffing I think that if the fake death threats of Jimmy Kimmel's fly. mailbox now. <laughs> this is a crazy That's what he's fucking there. doing, this guy. Who would make some wild shit like this? This is insane. So, like, do you see this? This MLK He day. made that? This is an MLK Day party flyer. It's so weird. It's on your Instagram. Did you make it? <laughs> what? Why would I make I, I did ask people. Well, what I said on Breakfast Club was, for your MLK Day party flyers this year, instead of using MLK, use Jonathan Majors. Why? Because. Wasn't he convicted he, he of. He wants all his women to be Coretta's. But he was convicted of assaulting a woman. It was a misdemeanor, and it was not an assault. And that's what we have to start saying. And this is what I don't like about this situation. He had two. He had the two biggest charges dropped. What was the one he got charged with? He got. He bas They basically charged him for snatching his phone back from the woman, and putting her back in the car. It was a lesser assault. It was a misdemeanor. It's still an assault. But he, they, he didn't punch <laughs> her in the head like she said. Yeah, he just didn't the twist her arm. Soft assault. You know what I mean? He didn't, he didn't break her finger. Like, like <laughs> that's what he was accused of. <laughs> that's, that's, like, that's literally what he was accused that's of. That's a good man. Like, that's a good man. Misdemeanor assault and harassment. Yeah, that's the word. A misdemeanor? No, I'm not saying it's big. I'm Come just saying on. it is an assault. You're saying it is not an assault. Is y'all flipping nipping when ya? <laughs> is y'all flipping nipping when ya? <laughs> All Can I'm you saying, work it? Can you twerk it? And, and, and by the way, what he was down, accused of, the it. biggest charge he the was main accused thing of he, got yeah. thrown out. Yeah. Yeah. What was the biggest one? Uh, what is it? Punching her in the ear or punching her in the head, twisting her arm. Punching her in the ear? Uh, so I'm punching her in the head, busting her ear, twisting her arm. Something like, that got thrown out. Yeah, Because she's a lying Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what? He did say one thing in that he video. He should go to jail for that. You, you, one thing he said on Good Morning America, he was like, a, he said, reverse it. He said, if it was a white woman if running down the street, the man, yes. yeah, that's what he said. Is y'all flipping the He the said man, it that yes. exactly. He, he was like, twerk it, he said, y'all flip it and reverse it. He said, if he said if, if that was a woman, my thing, and, and flipping this and tale, reverse it. if that was a white woman running down the street with a black man chasing after her, he'd have got shot. Mm. If it was a white woman running down the street with, with a black man chasing after her like that, bye-bye, <laughs> Judge Judy. What did Judge Judy say? Judge Judy said, how come they didn't shoot that guy who jumped over that desk? I, yo, Judy don't play games. Nah, she don't play. She don't play she games, don't play. though. That bailiff was sleeping. Should have put two in his side. You, you, know, you know what disappoints me about that video the most, man? That was a 30-year-old guy. There could have been a professional wrestler. Top, <laughs> no, fuck wrestling. Yo, yo, Schultz, he's top five greatest athletes ever. Yo, you, you, you know Think what? Think about where he was at. The courtroom. There's Jumped not a over better his table defense than the courtroom. Anywhere. Yeah. Facts. You're right. He had the shake bailiffs. They, he, they, he had the speed and the elusiveness to get away from the bailiffs and then jump from the floor over the desk with no help. He didn't grab the desk and leap over it. No, he he just over. scaled it and, and, and then started throwing hot. blows. Yeah. Last time I saw athleticism like that, other than John Morant, Cat with the Williams. guy. Cat Williams with the 440. Cut, nah, cuts. nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Dude in Alabama who jumped in the river, swam across the river, yep. climbed up, and yep. still had energy to fight. Yep. Mm. That's some great athleticism, oh, yeah. yo. Yeah. Nick Saban, Deion Sanders, y'all recruiting the wrong people. How old is he? Can he play in the 30. league? 30. So when he gets out, when will he get out? He got four years now. So by and time that's not even 34. for what he did to the judge. That was just another charge. So he's what is still he going to get, get for the, the judge? judge? Oh, they're going to put him under the judge. Oh, that's, he's going away. Because they already said they're not even going to let her handle the case. It's got to be a whole other judge. Oh, I could definitely get him off for that. That'd be easy. <laughs> nah. I thought someone was trying to shoot the judge. Mm. So how do you explain when, you, when he started swinging on her? Yeah. <laughs> to protect her head. She wasn't listening, so I had to subdue her to get her head to be more protected. Get <laughs> your head down. Get your head down <laughs> so that that person doesn't shoot you. Someone was trying to shoot the judge. I jumped Jimmy Fly, snooker. Definitely, that was Jimmy Fly Snooker. Boom, that was blocked all the Jimmy bullets, punched her head down so that she could be safe. Is she dead now? No. I think that that makes perfect sense. Also, shout out that flyer. Salute to that athlete, man.
That, that I've never I have not seen we that don't type salute, of athleticism. We don't salute those things, dude. We don't salute what athleticism? We don't salute those things. With the athleticism? Yo, bro. I'm I, just saluting the fact that that's such wasted potential. Yes, bro, he turned into a life You're making a joke that's kind of fucked up right now, what? and you could be receiving some mail about it. <laughs> and you, you might, <laughs> you're making a joke that's making light of something that's pretty serious. I'm and not. You might get some fucking mail, I'm and you light. get somebody might have to apologize. I'm making light of how a society fails people. I hope you get sued by that judge, yo. <laughs> I hope that judge sues your ass. I am making For light. You making I'm, jokes? I'm not even making light. I'm making bringing awareness to the fact that society failed this man. This man could have been about three different type of athletes: a boxer, a luchador, a football player. <laughs> luchador. I'm serious, man. Like, like we, we're so That's him. not funny, Charlotte, man. We are not. The fuck is that? Taylor, what Taylor. is up with your Illuminati chimes? Taylor, 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 what's going on, yo? Can I talk to y'all about something? Can you? Can you please? We've seen the video a thousand times. I want to talk to y'all about it. Videos ever. <laughs> that but it's not. It's wrong. Yeah, it's and wrong. And you should have got shot. And the fact that he has mad domestic violence charges and like you still proving people, you're proving that you're clearly. He was trying to get one more off. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like she denied your probation and she was absolutely right for denying She's your like, probation. I need to get one more. Now his sister does say he deals with mental health issues, so I hope he gets some type of mental health treatment while he's in prison. But that don't mean you shouldn't go to prison. 100%. You know what I mean? Especially if you have a history of domestic violence and then you just attack the woman in court for everybody to see. Hey, look how many guards around him now. Yeah, now he's God, not going man. anywhere. I want to share something with y'all just because... Please share, because my man's going to get clubbed. I got to get it out of here. I got to get out. I mean, I don't have to get out of here. I have to get this out of me. Me and Chris talked about it. Chris's, Chris's shit is way worse than mine, by the way. But <laughs> I went for a vasectomy consultation, right? Oh, my God, Charlemagne. I go for the vasectomy consultation. Do y'all right? know what a vasectomy is? Does everybody know what a vasectomy it's is? It's when they cut your cable. They cut your what? They cut your cable. They do cut your cable. They cut your fucking cable. Damn. Everybody's bro. screaming now. <laughs> <laughs> so they cut your fucking cable, right? So I go for the vasectomy. I go for the vasectomy consultation. I've never been to this doctor before. The doctor God. got recommended to me by somebody because, you know, the person that recommended me to it, their husband had went to get a vasectomy too, so they recommended me. So I'm sitting in the doctor's office, man. Don't do it. The doctor man. swings the door open. Naked. Like he's Joe Coy walking out of the Golden Globes. Like, I mean, <laughs> you're confident. Yeah. Like, he's Yo, just the like, karma that Yo! you, The karma you're going to have is crazy. <laughs> That's my guy. Go but on. I'm, I'm just talking about the level of confidence that he had. Go on, yo. So he walks and he's like, yo, what's up? He's white guy, old white guy. He goes, I'm here. And he goes, you're here for a vasectomy consultation. So he's talking to me about the vasectomy consultation. He's writing it down. He's, you know, showing, drawing me balls in the penis and <laughs> the legs and showing me where things get cut. And he's like, okay, you got to drop your pants. I'm like, drop your pants. I'm like, I didn't know that was part of the consultation, but okay. <laughs> right? So I dropped my pants and he's going, all right, nice, nice, nice. He touched your cock? Well, he's touching my legs. He's touching here in this area. So he's like, nice, what? nice. What the fuck? Because he was saying there's something about where you got to cut and whatever, whatever. Bro, Fine. you so do trust him, bro. Listen, <laughs> so this is why I'm telling this story. He don't even work there. Because <laughs> Listen, here's my thing. This is why I'm telling this story. Because if you think Jimmy Kimmel is playing in a lawsuit against Aaron Rodgers. If this motherfucker did some shit to me and he had no business doing, I'm suing. So anyway, he taps me on the legs and shit like that, right? And he's like, you good, you good, you good. And so then he tells me about the shit, and then he goes, you need a prostate exam. <laughs> and I'm like, a prostate exam? I'm like, why do I need a prostate exam? He's like, have you ever had a prostate exam? And I'm like, nah, I said I had the colonoscopy. He said, two different things. And he's like, you know, you can get your blood test, something called a PSA or something. But he was like, you know, the, pr the prostate exam, the actual... It's better than, you know, the PSA. And I'm like, what does one have to do with the other? Like, I'm here, I was here for a vasectomy consultation. He was like, I'm just saying, if he's like, you're 45 years old, you probably need a prostate exam. Now, my eyes quickly scan the room. Oh, no. Why was there already a thing of KY just sitting on the guy? I mean, a big ass thing of fucking KY just sitting on the goddamn uh, the desk already, right? So I'm like, <laughs> Hold on, man. So he, I, I'm, I'm grabbing my phone, and he kind of, like, tries to stop me from getting on my phone. And I'm like, no, I need to, like, call some people and ask if this is, like, you know, normal procedure. Illuminati like, right there. Right? So that's the Illuminati <laughs> that you see right so there. I'm like, so I'm that's like, crazy. So I'm Googling, like, prostate exam. And they're like, you know, if you get it, it lasts, like, three, four seconds, some shit like that. And I'm like, 
trying to Google like prostate exam, vasectomy to see what they, so I'm, I keep asking him, what does one have to do with the other? And he said, they don't. I'm just a urologist and this is what urologists do. So I'm telling you that you're 45, you've never had a prostate exam. The prostate isn't part of urology, get one. it's part of proctology. Is that true, Chris? Yes. Chris. <laughs> I, well, my, my story involves a uro urologist too, so okay. I think it is good. Bomb. Yeah, that's what these Hold urologists on. Chris's do. Chris's shit is worse. Chris's shit is rape. But yeah, we'll talk about this. Listen, so listen. <laughs> I mean, yours is sounding No, it's not, because I gave consent. But <laughs> <laughs> so, you did it. <laughs> so, so listen, right? Here's the doctor. The doctor goes to me. I'm listen, surrounded listen, by listen. fucking rainbows, listen. bro. Listen, <laughs> listen, I'm done listen. with this shit. Listen, yeah. listen. I'm done with this shit. When I ask the doctor how long does it take, the doctor literally goes, Two seconds, right? Oh, man. So, Stop it. So, you guys so, are fucking so, crazy. So I go, what do I got to do? He shows me. He's like, you just got to bend over this table like this. White guy, black guy? <laughs> white guy. Oh, white guy. So I'm like, bend over the table yes, like yeah. this. Come on, yo. So I take a deep breath, and I'm like, all right, man, fuck it, man. <laughs> no, just, come on, Sean. Just look, get it over with, come man. Come on, let's, man. Let's do it, Yo, right? my man got rizzed into a butt <laughs> yo, That's yo, crazy. Yo, That's yo, one of the craziest yo, things I ever heard when in my I life. When I say this doctor put these gloves on so fast, I didn't even see him put the gloves on. <laughs> I just saw him fucking reach, and next thing I know, he was like, Pop. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So he lubes the shit up. No. And I'm and he's talking to me. I'm like, yo, bro, don't fuck. I'm telling him, like, don't talk to me. Like, let's just, <laughs> just, there's nothing to talk about. Why are we talking? And as I'm saying that, he's bow. <laughs> Movie and viral. Guess what I'm trying not to do. Shit yourself. Come. <laughs> Scream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you bit the pillow? I'm you like, bit the fucking pillow. <laughs> I'm like, yo, you're not getting nothing out of me, yo. Son. You're not getting oh, like nothing. I heard it in my head, though. I heard the, oh. You ain't getting Sean nothing. Said, Sean said, too far, me. too far. You ain't getting nothing out of me. He wanted me. one. He wanted it, huh? Yo, let me tell you the funniest shit, though. Sean, he does this shit what? to me. And then when the shit is over, he had the nerve after I go pee. To have people come take pictures with me, because you know? there was people in the office. Yo, he who, did it to flex to his who friend, his to workers, take pictures bro. With me. He told his, his <laughs> workers like, "Yo, Charlemagne, the God's coming." He goes, "Yo, I bet, I bet I could butt fuck him." He said, "I bet I could get my finger in his ass." Yo, he took bets with his workers if he could finger fuck you, and he won. And my prostate is fine, but you know what the worst part about that shit is, yo? What? The worst part about that shit is I felt so violated. That I called my wife as I was leaving, <laughs> and she didn't pick up the phone, and I got so upset. <laughs> she didn't pick up the phone because I needed somebody to talk to. And when she finally called me back, I was so upset she didn't pick up the phone. So I just talked to you when I get home. Okay, <laughs> I can't even talk to you about what happened to me just now. And so when I finally do get home and tell her, do you know what the fuck she said to me? What? Did he go past the knuckles? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? Nobody in this fucking house takes anything yeah. goddamn seriously. Like, nobody. <laughs> Did but, he do the fucking urology, the whole point that you went there? There was a consultation. Science. Why is anything happening during a consultation? Imagine it's just going talk. to see if you need glasses and the doctor's like, yo, by the way, can I stick my thumb in your ass? A, well, that's what happened. According to him, my prostate is fine. How would he know? He's a <laughs> <laughs> he don't do <laughs> prostate exams. He does urology exams, bro. He doesn't do the asshole. That's a different oh, doctor. Oh, man. Oh, Chris. Chris, share your That's story. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Chris, it's the opposite. Chris, Chris, share your story. All right, Chris, tell us what happened Chris, to you. share your story before I do. Yeah, this son. is a safe space. Yeah, son. <laughs> this, he told that whole shit. He told that whole shit just so Chris could tell his way worse story. Yo, you got set up. All right, go, Chris. Go. All right. Uh, I also went to see a urologist. Uh, I have a slight hernia, right? So I wanted to have the guy check it out. He yeah. diagnosed it with a hernia, and then he gave me the same rap. While you're here, you know, I want to check out your prostate. I've had it done before, so I knew what was coming. Yeah. The difference I was. I bet you did. Right. <laughs> when he came in the room, he had an intern with him. And he yeah. was like, hey, forget the guy's name. He's just going to 
shadow me and he's here to learn oh, everything. Sad. So I was like, like no spectators. <laughs> like, shit is going on. Son. He brought a crown. He didn't bring a it's crown. Worse. It's worse than that. So, <sighs> so I'm like, yeah, it's fine, no problem. So he goes, you know, take your pants down, lean over the table, and he goes in. Gives me the exam with his finger, and as he's in there, I feel another finger, <laughs> <laughs> kind of like. No way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way you got double penetrated. Yo, no, 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 ain't no, no way you got double no. penetrated. No. Ain't no way you got double penetrated. Yo, you no. so Y'all crazy. bringing the Me Too industry ain't to all no the wrong industry, Joe. Way. We gonna bring the Me Too industry <laughs> to the urologist, Joe. This shit is fucked up, ain't man. Ain't no way you got double penetrated. <laughs> not double, not. No, 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 no. <laughs> Yo, oh my no, God. No, 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 no. I feel Hold another up. finger kind of like resting. What does that right, mean? Like <laughs> waiting. And I'm like, <laughs> yo, what the fuck is going on? So the doctor pulls. No, 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 no. No, no, the no, doctor no, is no, in. No, no, no. The doctor's smooth. You should have said that then. Right. <laughs> Checks everything. Out and immediately the second he's out, oh. the other finger goes in Damn. from the intern. Damn. Nah, bro. They don't ask. No consent. They didn't set it up. <laughs> and this guy hadn't done his fingernails because he's new. So I'm like, whoa. You can feel <laughs> the difference. He, he <laughs> oh, you can't make the noise <laughs> doing a fucking prostate exam. That <laughs> is what is gay. It's, <laughs> no, it's yeah, worse to not make the noise. No, yeah, man. No, no you no, gotta no, make no, the noise. No, yeah. no, Hold on. No, no, it's worse to no, not make the no, noise. Because no, if you make no, the noise, I didn't make the noise. I did it now. I didn't make the noise in the room. I was trying to stay. Y'all cool gotta too. make the noise. Okay. Otherwise, it's like you've been there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm a professional. Right. So, like, who are you trying to impress? Hold on, you just oh. knocked. You just oh. knocked. Camera. <laughs> Taylor, you just knocked Charlemagne's camera. Anyway, that back to hilarious. the story. That's good. That's good. So I, I don't know. I mean, to me, that's something that you might want to mention before it happens. So well, did you say something to my man with the fucking claws that was in? I you? didn't say anything. I was stunned. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. And you know for a fact the other dude put his finger in your ass. I have to with believe. With a rubber or no rubber? Rubber, rubber glove. No consent, though. No consent. No consent. We're bringing the Men Too movement. That's Men crazy. Too movement is coming to the urology That's field, Joe. That's one of the craziest things Fuck I've ever that. heard in my he entire had a life. Finger train on him, son. Yo, double, double penetration is Not crazy. The, no, for no, the no. Don't put double penetration on me. No, that's a train. That was a DP. That was a DP. No, that was a train. What you mean? They ran a train on you. They ran a train on you. They ran a train on you. Yeah, uh, it's wild, man. It's hard out here being a man. Listen, listen. No idea. All jokes aside, gentlemen, get your prostate checked. It's get not your the end of the world. Now. Not now anybody's going to go <laughs> do it. We don't want this story to scare That's anybody That's a horror story. Get well, they prostate. just ran through you. What? What, Taylor? We don't want... We don't, at, at a time like this when men are being yeah, vulnerable... Yeah, we're being vulnerable. We don't like, want to hear... We don't, we, jokes, we, we don't want to hear this. Okay? I genuinely feel like you're going to make jokes. No, I have a question, though. What? They're just checking the price prostate to just make sure it has nothing to do with your penis at all. No, the prostate is for cancer. They're checking for bumps on your prostate. Yeah. But if you already went, didn't you recently get it done? That was a colonoscopy. That's something else. Colonoscopy and prostate oh, so two different things. Oh, you never got it done. I got a colonoscopy. That's I know, for you colon never got cancer. the prostate. No, I never got oh, prostate. Oh, no. but you have. Yeah, sure. But when? when? He got it a week before this happened. He liked it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just went the week before. Because <laughs> uh, I got kidney stones, so I had a last time kidney stones maybe two years ago. But yeah, so yeah, okay. yeah. All right, man. We got any more ads, yo? Yeah. <laughs> huh? That was just fascinating because, like... Taylor, nobody can hear you. What'd you say? When do y'all have, have to get your process? Yo, you want to make jokes about no, me? no, no, no. no. No, you no, want to no, make no, jokes no, no. about getting your jokes off. Get in the ass. Get your jokes off. It's all good. I get your don't. jokes off. doing isn't right. I don't get have one. Right. What you're doing isn't right. Have what you're doing <laughs> isn't <laughs> right. They just worried about... I, I, I don't have a joke. You should stop. You I don't have stop. no jokes. Get your jokes okay. off, yo. Get men, your jokes off. They deserve it. Being vulnerable, you would not like this. These guys are in a proctologist's office. I have a question about it, though. Do you have to get it checked every year now? I have no idea. Oh, you're going to get checked every three weeks after that experience. He didn't, that's the, you know what? Usually, when I did the colonoscopy, they told me you good for 10 years. This motherfucker ain't telling me shit. <laughs> he want you back, bro. He just told me I was good. He said, oh, you good. 
how you agreed during the consultation though is crazy. Also, why did you sit like, on it? <laughs> like, isn't he supposed to go on you? Why did he say, okay, now sit down, and then you sat on it? No, I was bent over. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, man, I ain't been farting right since that shit happened, yo. That shit feel like that. I can feel that shit. Like, that, I've, I've been feeling that shit since that shit happened, yo. I don't know how y'all motherfuckers take it in the ass. I'm going to be honest yo, with you. I got a new real, respect bro. for bottoms, yo. I'm not even going to lie to you. Really? I've always had a respect for bottoms because I only imagined it. Yeah. But, yo, if that's what y'all did, if y'all out here taking whole dicks, yeah. yo, man, you a better man than me. Because you took a whole finger, a right? A whole finger and could not do it. Which, well, you did do it. <laughs> no. You didn't even. three seconds. You didn't even wince. Bro, three seconds, bro. There's no, I couldn't do, do no more Do they move it that. around? Like, they finger yo, it. Yo, come on. Out, yo. Come, come on. on. Why are you making fun of stuff like that? Come on. You're a bully, yo. That's no reason. You're a bully. I'm asking you a question. I don't know. Look, I'm asking because, look, when we go to get, go to gynecologists. That's really fucked up. At least they don't put shit in you. That's really fucked up. They did put stuff in them. That's really fucked up, Oh, what they put in you? They're dicks. <laughs> you don't realize what happened? These guys got butt fucked at the doctor's office. Why don't you realize that what went down? <laughs> Chris got double butt fucked, yeah. and Charlamagne yeah. got one butt fucked. And they tried to convince themselves it was a finger that went inside him when they know it was a whole dick. It was dick. a pencil oh my dick, God. dude. Lord Jesus. <laughs> you got your ass, Taylor, man. Yo, I'm sick and tired of you, Taylor. I'm sick and tired of you bullying I'm gonna these guys. I'm going to be honest guys. with you. I think getting finger fucked in the butt might be like wild and getting a dick it back there. No, it's actually... Yo, if all was, right, go, go, go. I'll go with you on no, this one. No, you're just a wild boy if you just get fingered in your butt. Because you know how when you... Yeah, like, th thumb. Think about how when you was young, your man would come to you and be like, yo, I just fingered a girl, let no, you smell it. Hold on, like, hold you on. imagine fingering somebody in the butt. Hold on, the only reason it's more gay is because nobody is getting any pleasure out of it. Yeah. The guy getting fingered ain't feeling good, and the guy doing the fingering ain't feeling good. Uh, no, the problem, the nah, problem nah, is he didn't... The gays made that up so they could finger straight No, guys. the problem is it wasn't it wasn't a thumb. <laughs> that's, that's he a used conspiracy. his index finger. That's the what problem. are you talking about? Yo, stop talking about men's vulnerabilities. Her no, if he used a thumb, he probably would have liked it more. Yo, I'm. Yo, I'm only saying. Ass, yo, Taylor, you, this is. Not, I don't understand. I'm only. You gonna be the first? The men too movement. The men too movement. The men too movement will remember this, Taylor. Yo, you gonna be one of the first people. You gotta sue Taylor. Taylor. Nah, you gonna be one of the first people. Nah, sue Taylor. Nah, sue Taylor. Nah, sue Taylor. Nah, Wait till you see Taylor. my op-ed. Lawsuit. My op-ed is gonna be crazy about you. Lawsuit. You need a lawsuit on Taylor. The men too movement are gonna be crazy. Let's do some ads, Taylor. We got ads. All right, let's pay some bills, man. Salute the fact. Factor, get started on your resolutions with Factor, okay? All your New Year's resolutions, okay? If you're ready for the New Year, Factor's ready to eat. Meal delivery takes the stress out of meal planning and sets you up for success in the New Year. Skip the grocery stores, prep work, and cooking fatigue. Instead, get chef-crafted, dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door with over 35 meals to choose from per week, including options like keto, calorie smart, vegan, and veggie, and more, plus over 55 weekly add-ons. You'll have a ton of nutritious and flavorful options to kickstart your resolutions, all right? Skip the overpriced takeout trap. Factor is cheaper and way more delicious than takeout. Get chef-crafted crafted restaurant quality meals delivered right to your door. They're ready to heat and eat in just two minutes, which means more time for you. Stress less over meal times in the new year. Factors, no prep, no mess meals, free up time, otherwise spent shopping, cooking, and cleaning. No more wasting time in the kitchen. Factor has everything I need for a week of flavorful, nutritious eats. In addition to ready to eat meals, they have cold pressed juices, smoothies, energy bites, extra protein, veggie sides, and more to keep me energized during frantic times, okay? Head to factormeals.com slash idiots 50 and use code idiots 50 to get 50% off. That's code idiots 50 at factormeals.com slash idiots 50 to get 50% off. Okay, show you want to do blue chew? Absolutely, guys. You know this episode is brought to you by the hardest dick in the land, and that's your dick as long as you chewing up the blue. Blue chew has got your back, got your girl's back blown out, and it's the same active ingredients inside Viagra, Cialis, but this is the chew that's the one to re-rock with, okay? Your lady deserves it. Your mother deserves it. Your side chick deserves it. With all due respect, they all deserve it, and you're going to deliver it to them. And matter of fact, you can get your first month free. All you got to do is pay $5 shipping. And that's a no-brainer. You go to bluechew.com. Make sure you use the promo code IDIOTS. You're going to get your first month free. All you got to do is pay the $5 shipping. Enjoy. Now, let's get back to the show. All right, let's do some Asking Idiots, man. Let's do some let's Asking Idiots, Let's get it. Taylor. Let's what we got, what we got, what we got, what we got. Um, okay. Taylor? 
I'm just saying. Taylor, what about can we, can we what, do what about the, Taylor? Yes. Um, can we can we do asking it is? Ooh, these some good ones. Um, Alfred X Leon says, what y'all think about the alien in Miami? What I thought about the alien in Miami is it is really over for society. And the reason it's really over for society is because nobody truly cares about the truth and the lie is more entertaining, man. And everybody Amen. cares about feelings over facts because immediately when I saw that story, the first thing I said to myself, so you mean to tell me it's an eight foot, 10 foot tall alien walking around the mall in Miami and you motherfuckers that put everything on your smartphones, nobody got any video of it. The only video we got is come a on, fucking man. aerial shot from a fucking helicopter. Come on, like, yo. Come the fuck on, man. Come on, and I'm, yo. I've been watching this video a million times. I still don't know what the fuck that is. It's just come a Person. Come on, yo. It's an aerial shot. It's a person Come walking. Come on, yo. That's it. It's probably a cop. Come like, on, what are we talking yo. about here? This is ridiculous. And they were talking about... They're trying to say that they were doing this to uh, distract from the Epstein drop. What type of Epstein fucking list? lunatic would suggest a thing like that? <laughs> <laughs> what type of fucking lunatic would do that? Aaron Rodgers. What would... And, 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 and what's crazy is people <laughs> were saying, so why was it so many police cars then? If there is reports of a fight and potential active shooting. Duh. Duh. <laughs> like, what the fuck Duh. are we talking about, man? Obviously, also, if there's reports of aliens or if there's reports of a list of powerful people having sex with children, you know some shit is going to get dusted up. Yo, if, if you are a person that sees an eight foot, 10 foot tall alien. And I, I even tried to look at it from another perspective. What would make you not pull out your phone and record? Oh, I'm, <laughs> Fear? I'm, I'm recording. But it's not even a question. If somebody's record. going to record, like y'all risk it all for less on your TikToks and your Snapchats and your Instagram lives, somebody would have went live with something. So knock it the fuck off. I believe in aliens wholeheartedly. Y'all know I believe in extraterrestrials, but that shit in Miami was not one at all. But mm. y'all don't give a fuck because nobody cares about the truth and the lies more entertaining. Y'all gonna believe what y'all wanna believe. Why do they believe that? I really don't know why. Maybe we want to. Maybe boredom has kicked in. Maybe we want a justification for this life, for our existence, for... They keep talking about it, though, so they're just trying to... What Taylor said is, is exactly it. We live in a society now, don't get me wrong, we've always spoken about it amongst your close circles, but then when you get online and you realize that it's a whole bunch of people that believe this, it's just a bunch of people that want to be proven yes, right. Facts. And I promise y'all, I promise all you extraterrestrial believers, you will be proven light, right at some point in our lifetime. Guarantee it. You think that we'll find aliens some point uh, in our lifetime? It's not about finding. I believe that they already know about aliens. I believe that they're in contact. We're aliens to somebody. That's what we need to be asking. Do aliens believe in us? <laughs> yeah. Why the yeah. fuck this shit turn into the Golden Globes audience? Man? <laughs> Don't do me like that, yo. <laughs> Joe Carter, go. All right. Yeah. Okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. Maybe you're just trying to get probed again. Man, shut <laughs> <this fuck> up. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's why. Maybe that's why. Thank you. Maybe that's why you want them aliens to come so bad because you have so much fun at the urologist. And you're like, yo, can y'all run that shit back what out? If he was Do you an want alien? To? Say what? What if that urologist was an alien? What's his name? Know? What was his name? Yeah, what was his name? Uh, Edward Thomas. He told me to call him ET for short. <laughs> 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 and he hit me with this, his finger was glowing. <laughs> <laughs> Son, I think, Al, you want some? I think we got the answer. Oh, I think man. we got the answer right now. Uh, Love Azor. Oh, this is a fantastic question. Why is comedy so segregated? Ooh, that's a great question. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> I think a lot of times, like, like anything, um, comedy is a reflection of experience and, like, relatability. Mm hmm so you speaking about your life and the things you've gone through, you know, might not be as relatable to someone else between genders, between races, between religions, et cetera. So that's one thing. Like, for example, if you're a black dude from the South, the things that you're going through are probably going to be more relatable from people who are from the South mm -hmm. than like some North. So that is true. That being said, um, I think there's a lot more people that cross over than you think. Cat Williams being one of them. I think Cat Williams... It, he might be perceived as this, like, oh, he's a black comic or he's a, you know, a, a hustle, it's pimping comic, whatever. But white people love Cat Williams. 
Like every white dude I know has watched every one of Cat Williams' specials. He was absolutely massive within the white community. So mm. maybe it's not reflected as much on his shows, but that doesn't mean that there he doesn't have a huge fan base amongst white people. So sometimes it looks more segregated because of the audience at the show, but the reality is, is a lot of people are watching Homer online, I think. That's interesting, because I mean, I even think about somebody like Dave Chappelle early on. Dave Chappelle didn't necessarily have a black audience, you know what I'm mm. saying? Like when he, when Dave Chappelle dropped Killing Me Softly, it was more so like college kids, white people, like, you know, really, really white college kids, it felt like. Right. I don't feel like Dave, I don't feel like people really got on to Dave and his style of comedy until Chappelle's show. And even that was huge within white community. Like Absolutely. The, yeah, yeah. What's the the weed movie was huge. Half baked. Half baked. Yeah, yeah, white yeah, people yeah, love yeah. half baked. So, I think as long as you got universal themes, people will fuck with you. Also, as long comedy. as you're authentic, like there wasn't much that was relatable to about Bernie Mac to me growing up. But I was so obsessed with him as a comedian. I was like, this is the funniest human being I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah. And it was like he was just so what it seemed like so authentically him and undeniably hilarious. That I I just grabbed. Funny is funny. Funny is yeah, that's funny the certain thing. Funny. funny is funny. Larry David is the most unrelatable person to most human beings in terms of who he is. He's a seventy-five year old Jewish but guy. You watch Curb Your Enthusiasm. Every you cry one of us relates to him. So there is some humanity, you know, not to be too corny about it, but there is a humanity that we all relate to, a human experience we all relate to. In the comics that can tap into that, I think get us all. Yeah, that's why I think you got to be funny first, man. 100%. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and, and that goes for not just people that are on stage doing stand-up, but even when you're trying to create comedies, I think that, you know, we lived through this woke era, which I think we all saw didn't translate to the best content because a lot of these people would do it through the lens of whatever their identity was, right, or whatever their sexuality was, whatever their gender was, whatever their race was. But is it fucking funny? Yep, simple as that. Gotta be funny first, And man. I think the same goes for movies. Remember, we were speaking about it in Flagrant. Oh, There's yeah. like some movies that are just like, black movies made for black people and only black people consuming. And then there's movies that it could still have a whole black cast, but it's, it's not just a black the movie. movie. Like a lot of- uh, Like Friday. The, what, Bl black Panther is not a black movie. Yeah. Black Panther no, is no, just no, a no, Marvel no, movie that, that got I mean, black. Yeah, just it, a good movie. I don't count superheroes though. But like, uh, I get what you're saying, but I don't count. Key and Peele, the, what's it called? The Jordan Peele movies. Yeah. Yeah. To yeah, me, yeah. are not black movies. They just Absolutely. have black people Absolutely. in them. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. What's it called? Uh, Denzel Washington movies might over-index with black characters, but that doesn't mean they're black movies. I get what you're saying. I think same so, goes for comedy. Yeah. By the way, most of those black movies slap. Because they just got universal themes. You know what I mean? You just got to get past it. Like Dead Presidents, you can watch Dead Presidents right now. And even though it's an all-black cast, black, I think, director, writer, it's still it's a great movie about a bank heist. 100%. You know what I mean? So that's the thing. It's not just about so it's not about a black thing or a Mexican yeah. thing, whatever. If it's now, good, there it's are, good. The, the Wire. The Wire. There are Sopranos. For, you know, I love Sopranos. Well, there are certain black movies that don't necessarily have black people in them, though. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are they in any movie where an animal is bigger than it's supposed to be. What do you mean? Explain. The Meg. The Meg 2. Why is that a black I movie? I say that's a black movie. That is that is a black genre of, of film. What? It, it, the Anaconda or whatever it is. Are you talking about our talking pizza about, Yeah, exactly. What the hell? No, the, the, <laughs> the, 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 the alligator movie. Any movie where the animal is bigger than it's supposed to be. Black movie. No, no way. No black movie. Don't, don't take that I don't think black Asians. people go to these black movies. Exactly, bro. Don't no. take that from the black Asians. Movie. Like oh, I've seen Sharknado what you said. You and shit like that. that kind of stuff. You love when animals are bigger than they're supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> That's your favorite thing. If a movie, I promise so you, if Jurassic you go, Park. go to black people love Jurassic Park. But no, 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 no. no. Jurassic Park is they're the, the size they're supposed to be. If the dinosaurs end up being a hundred times bigger than they were supposed to be, then the black people love the movie and they'll be... Just go to opening weekend of any movie where the animals are bigger than they're supposed to be. <laughs> I'm almost positive... Thought about this. I'm almost positive there's a comic named Reggie Conquest who, who was saying this at the back table and he was saying something about this. So I want to make sure that he gets the credit. I'm pretty sure it was Reggie. But, uh, but yeah... Any, I tend to hate those movies, to be honest with you. Yeah, but you're like... You like to hate what everybody likes. So that's how you prove it even more that that's what black people love. <laughs> and listen, Big Mama's house. Animal that's bigger Yo. than... Oh, wow. Yo. <laughs> so, 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 that's black men in dresses. Son, okay, son. we support black men what in up? dresses. If the animal... We support 
all black men in dresses. If the animal is bigger than it's supposed to be, y'all fuck with it. Name one movie where the animal's bigger than it's supposed to be and y'all don't fuck with it. Go. I do want, hold on. I do want to ask this question. Godzilla ain't based on a real animal. It got to be based on nah, a real Godzilla's animal. Godzilla's just a lizard. Anaconda. Is it called Anaconda? Yeah. <laughs> Did y'all watch that? Let me ask this question. That's what I'm talking about. Let me ask, let me ask this question. Just well, prove me wrong once. Why? <laughs> the why, one with LL Cool J. <laughs> That's it? Isn't that Anaconda? One. Is that any? God damn. Yeah. I know. It's not like he just got a fucking He tried to hit it, it up there. <laughs> no, Jesus Christ. was in Jaws or something like that. Jaws, was, black was, people love Jaws. Let me ask black you a question. Black people love Jaws. Why do black comics in dresses cause more of an uproar than white comics in dresses? Because all the white comics do it too. Here's the thing. The Putting someone in a dress is just a play off of masculinity. The more masculine somebody seems, mm -hmm. the quote unquote funnier, it's like the easiest version of funny, it's the most low hanging fruit. The funnier it is if they're dressed as a woman, right? That's, this is just comedic just position. Black men are seen as more masculine. You could call that an ingrained racism or whatever you want, but they're perceived by white audiences and white people probably as more hyper masculine. So then being in a dress, to them, to like these white directors and shit are probably like, oh, this is really funny. These super masculine guys are in a dress. That's so hilarious, right? The most low hanging fruit joke. Mm -hmm. But you know who else they're gonna try to put in a dress? I bet every time they're trying to put the rock in a dress, well, I guess he's black. It. He's done it. Sure, but again, any <clears throat> big macho guy, they're trying to put in a dress because they're like, oh, this is funny because you're doing this thing you shouldn't be doing. It's just, I just always think about that because I, I remember growing up and you know, you would see, you know, Martin play Shanene, or you would see Jamie Foxx play uh, Wanda, or, you know, even, you know, they're not dressed up as women, men on film, you know, Damon and David Allen Gray pretending to be gay. It was just funny. Yeah. Like, you never thought about also, it being this anything is else. Just funny. Even Robin Williams doing Miss Doubtfire. Bro, bro, not like, everything is, that's the thing, not everything is how can we hold down the black people and be racist. A I'm lot just, of, I'm going to tell you, a lot of black women feel the type of way that, well, I shouldn't say a lot. We talk back, hosts, Tam Bam and AJ, they don't really appreciate that. Well, how do they feel about, I'm, I understand it, but how do they feel about the white actors who do it too? Like we're acting They're like white actors that, don't though. do this. Yeah. All actors do it. It's the, it's the easiest version of humor. It's just how do I make, the, how can I get a laugh yeah. without doing much? I'll put a masculine person in a very feminine outfit, laugh. Like Miss Doubtfire is one of the best movies you've ever seen Hilarious. in your fucking life. Robin Williams, God bless the dead. You know what I mean? And he's Hilarious. in a, he's in a dress the whole movie. Mm. Tootsie. Tootsie was wild. Tootsie was prostate. Tootsie was, Tootsie was a prostate exam, yo. I can't lie. You remember Tootsie? But even, it's such a difference. It's Chris Rock, right? No, nah, Chris Rock wasn't in Tootsie. It was uh, Wesley Snipes. Oh, Dustin Hoffman? Oh, what's the one with Wesley Snipes and Ving Rhames and all them when no, they were dressed Julie, up? Julie Newmar. Something Julie Newmar. Yeah, it's it's John Leguizamo. Oh, I thought, I'm thinking of Woo. Oh, yeah. I don't cool. know if that's it. I'm just saying. No, no Woo is. It is Woo, yeah. right? Isn't Ving Rhames and Woo? And, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. I feel like Mrs. Duffy. What else we got, Taylor? Scroll down. Let's see what else we got, man. Let's pick some good ones. Scroll down. We only always go for the top. Let's go to the bottom. Scroll down, Taylor. Yo, this Yo. guy. I clearly enjoyed it. So you you clearly enjoyed now, it. Verted, Scroll up. Let's see, Taylor. <laughs> you shave at least? Let's see what we got. No, I didn't know. I wasn't expecting so it. So you had ass hair and everything? Yeah. Ass yeah. hair, bro. Yo, when he took that glove off, I was like, holy shit. what it look like? A brillo? Crazy. It wasn't crazy. It was just a little brown at the tip. Oh. <laughs> and he had on blue gloves. Oh. So it was a wild color contrast. Um, let's oh, scroll up, come Taylor. On. Come on. Scroll yeah, up, you're, Taylor. You're, you're, you're just... Taylor, scroll I'm up. I'm scrolling up. Has Andrew had... Okay, Ozu <laughs> Nataro says, has Andrew had any jokes stolen by other comedians? How did it feel after learning of the... I guess that's theft? The, the theft, whatever like that? Yeah. This is what I say. I don't assume theft. Mm -hmm. If I see something similar, I don't assume theft. I think that's one thing that the internet showed us is that there are people capable of having the same ideas or similar ideas. So my, my assumption first is not theft, especially if it's like a hot take on a popular topic. Like if we're talking about Biden, you know what I mean? Like, okay, it's it's possible that I came up with this connection and maybe somebody else did. Mm -hmm. If it was something like deeply personal, 
then there's probably less of a chance. But even then, I don't jump to the conclusion that like, oh, the only person on this planet that could have thought of this idea is me. Yeah. I'm so great. I'm such a fucking genius. Nobody's a genius like me that they could ever come think of it. That's how I tend to go about things. Now, if it's something that keeps on happening with the same person, a bunch of other people, maybe that's a different scenario. I haven't had that happen to me mm -hmm. yet. But I try not to immediately assume that someone is snatching something. I get it. I get it. Um, <laughs> what about you? I'm not a comedian. But like, you think anybody? Oh, 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 yes. People take your thing all the time. Oh, I'm glad, Taylor. I'm glad you fucking say that. Take, but, take what? Every all types of shit. Just talking points. Like, I got one now that I done heard repeated a million times Which one? already. When I say that uh, 2024, you know, the the, the choices are. The vote for the criminal, which is are, are the Republicans, or the tr criminal, which is Trump, yeah. the cowards, which is Joe Biden, because yeah. he don't fight for nothing, are the couch, and the couch is probably gonna win. I didn't heard that shit. Re I didn't heard that shit repeated so much on goddamn. Well, that's what the politicians do. Any talking points they just assume are regurgitated through the think tanks, and they're basically told, they're instructed to take those talking points and run with them. But the reason I don't mind that particular talking point, because we're talking about something that impacts us all. And all we're basically saying is that, hey man, voter apathy yeah. could potentially sway the results of this election this yeah. year. You know what I mean? That's yeah. all. And, and by the way, both candidates know that, because Trump's been out campaigning in the last couple of weeks telling people, look man, especially in, for Iowa coming up, he's like, yo, don't, don't assume just because the polls say I'm up yeah. that I'm going to win. Go out there and vote. Biden's out here saying the same thing. Like, yo, y'all can't think how to go out there and vote. So people know. You know, I just say it a different way. And that's usually what I tend to do. Like, if I hear people saying something, I try to, like, take it a step further to where people can understand it a little bit better, a little bit more. What's more relatable? Mm. You know what I mean? I'm not going to just say it's Trump, Biden, and people will stay home. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's the criminal. The coward and the couch. And I love alliteration. That's all C's. Triple C. Uh, what else we got? I got a question. Do you think yes, they're sir. dosing Biden? His last <laughs> couple of speeches, he's been alert, making a couple with, of jokes. With what? Yeah, no, yeah. Coke? Come on, stop. No, he's been more alert than we've no, seen in the you past four years. You but that's what see him. The few times no, you, you do. see him in those things. That's what I'm saying. A few what? times you do, he's, he's you know. Yeah, ain't that Cocaine, this. though, or what? What do you I think don't know. it is? I'm just saying. The fact that they have to keep telling us how alert Biden is lets me know he's not that alert. <laughs> like, like, they say it all the fucking time. Who do you, th you think he drops out? I do have a feeling, it's just my intuition, but it's probably the same intuition that's been telling me the Cowboys going to win the Super Bowl the last 25, <laughs> 26 years. I don't think Trump or Biden make it to the primary. Whoa. The general election. Whoa. Not the primary, the general election. I don't think Trump or Biden make it to the general election. Nah, I think it's too late at this point. I we we, we forgetting about natural. <laughs> you forgetting about oh. natural selection, baby. Oh, this is the ceasefire now. Yeah. Uh, did I send you the video of the people blocking the Holland Tunnel? No, I heard yeah. about it. And they were they were singing the Christmas carols. I heard about it, but it wasn't the Christmas carols. They were saying ceasefire now, ceasefire now. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I it was beautiful. I understand people protesting. I mean, it was the most annoying fucking thing in the world, and it's going to lose support for Palestinians, but the song is great. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about what happened at Emanuel AME in Charleston, South Carolina. I'm just saying, in New York, you cannot interrupt New Yorkers' flow. If you getting in the way of where we got to go, you getting in the way to bridges, the tunnels, if we got to go to work, if we got to pick our kid up or something like that, if you're getting in our way, you lose our support. That's so whole, yeah, don't that's the, that's the do whole point that. Of protest. That's the whole point of the protest, though. But who are you protesting against? You want to inconvenience New it. Yorkers or you yeah, want to yeah, get yeah, New Yorkers yeah. on your side? I get it. This is why you can't let white liberals support your cause. White liberals are going to inconvenience everybody and they're going to ruin it for you. Well, that's what I feel like happened at uh, Emanuel AME in Charleston, South Carolina. You know, Charleston is my birthplace. That's home. Emanuel AME is a historical landmark in Charleston, South Carolina. Denmark Vesey founded that church. Uh, the tragic sh killing of nine beautiful souls happened in Emanuel AME. And I understand people want to protest and people want their voice heard. I didn't like what they did. Uh, I didn't like them doing that in Emanuel AME church. You know what I mean? They did ceasefire now there? I mean, I, I didn't, yeah, I didn't like that just because of the church. And I saw people Telling saying, you, I saw people saying things like, oh, that's respectability politics. It ain't got shit to do with Biden. Don't it got to interrupt do with people's lives that you want to support you. I don't even think about interrupting their lives. Just respect 
the Emmanuel AME. That is a black church where nine black people got killed in Charleston, South Carolina. Mind you, I'm born in Charleston, so my take on it is different. That's a personal thing to me. Don't do that there. Don't forget, forget interrupt Biden. Don't do that to those souls lives, that died in that man. church. I'm telling you. And, and and listen, this is what happens when white liberals support your cause, man. They're gonna ruin it for everybody. I'm just, this is what they do. <laughs> it didn't their, look like it was only white. Their life is out. being inconvenienced. It's a Greta Thunberg effect. It's how can I annoy you the most? How can I get in your way? How can I bother you? <laughs> and it just makes all of us want to destroy the environment. It makes me never want to recycle. And it's gonna make you lose all support for the Palestinian side 100 percent If you see a purple-haired chick in your protest, just know. It's over. I would have, if, if I was those people and you wanted it's to make crazy. a stand against Joe Biden, how they blocked the tunnel? Block, block his tunnel. motorcade in Charleston. Do that. Stand outside, block his motorcade but just in Charleston. Is, once you start blocking other people and we got shit to do, <laughs> it's a problem. I can't support you. Yeah, I just didn't. I mean, I'm all for people protesting. Whatever you want to protest, do your thing. But I didn't like them doing that in Emmanuel AME Church, man. That's that church. That's a black church. That is holy ground. Nine people got killed in there. And I want to say one other thing to the Democratic Party. I'm sick of this type of shit. Oh, you mean to tell dancing? me Barack Obama comes to you, Joe Biden, puts the fire under your ass, and the only thing y'all can think to do is what y'all been doing for the past 60 years, go to a black church and then go to the soul food restaurant in Charleston? You went to Hannibal's in Charleston, South Carolina, salute to everybody uh, at Hannibal's. But that's y'all still doing that? Go what, to the black church? What if he got up and there? And go to a soul food restaurant? What if he got up there and he was like... This little light of mine. He did something like that. He, I'm he, gonna let it shine. He quoted some scriptures and some shit. No, like you that. don't remember Brock going? This little that light of mine. That was fire. I'm gonna no, 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 let no. it shine. No, that was fire. No, that was fire. That man. was, we watched it. It wasn't this little light of mine, though. Yes, it was. Yeah. It was. This yeah. little light. And, and guess what? Talk about, you know what Barack did that at? When he was no, speaking. it wasn't. I'm sorry. It wasn't. It was this, uh, amazing, amazing Grace. Amazing, amazing Grace. Amazing Grace. He did that. How sweet. He did that talking about the Emmanuel 9. That was the Emmanuel. I think that was the I know. funeral service. Yo, he it did was, Amazing Grace. When Barack did that, you'll watch this shit and you'll realize that we need we need a Barack type president. I don't care what side of the aisle you're on. We need Barack. This is a president. You need a charismatic president. This is a president. Someone we can all be proud of you, and believe yeah, that's in. That's right. Even if you don't believe in his politics. Nah, you just, but you want that guy to represent yeah, you. Watch man. it. Go to the beginning, though, and turn it up. The beginning, though. You need the beginning. Fire too. He did it. He snuck up. He snuck up on him like a prostitute yeah. too. And what? Watch. Watch, watch the uh, pastors as well. Watch. Go. You got the you got the audio on. It's playing. No audio. He, he did the dramatic pause. Yeah. Amazing grace. Come on, Doc. How sweet the Fire. Fire. Come on, Doc. Come on now. Fire. Joe Biden Woof. could never. Uh, Donald Trump could never. Look at them playing the music with it. Come on. <laughs> we never gonna see that again, baby. Tell him Barack. On, Once now. in a lifetime generational talent. Facts. President Barack Hussein Obama. Who's his know. urologist? Let him know. <laughs> Who's his urologist, man? I know he brags all the time. <laughs> I know Barack Obama's urologist brags all the fucking time. He did, he did time. brag, and then he got a <laughs> and then Martha <laughs> Vinny. <laughs> As always, listen to this podcast. You think don't we're sue smart. Us. You don't think sue we're intelligent. Us. Don't you think sue we're us. You're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast, you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit. You're right. Do <laughs> this podcast. Thank you for listening.